So, um, just real quick, there's there's two settings. Um, there is a netcode input delay smoothing, um, which basically the way GGPO uh, netcode works or rollback netcode works is based on the ping. Um, you will experience a certain amount of rollback, which is it basically looks like teleporting. Um, in this this teleporting or rollback is more extreme if you turn down the input lag. So say you, you set it to zero frames. Um, that's obviously your best uh, experience, you know, more closer to offline uh, arcade, zero frame input delay. So your, your inputs come out instantly. Um, but the problem is, um, that'll give you, obviously it'll give you competitive edge, but if you're playing somebody who's really far away and they have high ping, you'll experience that teleporting or rollback. Um, you can compensate for that rollback uh, by adding more input delay. So if, if you prefer uh, less choppiness and, and rollback, you can set uh, your delay to one frame or or two frames if you want. Um, but generally, I would say that's not really a good idea. For me personally, I prefer to have you know the rollback um, and the teleporting because it's usually not that extreme to me, even uh, with high ping individuals on Fight K2. Um, it starts to get. I would say unplayable around 200 ping, 200 ms ping. Um, but anything under 200 ms ping, it's it's going to be playable on zero frame. That's just my opinion. Um, so the first the first setting uh, here on the left, that's the cog wheel. Um, so you want to click that. And then you see up here it says smoothing input input lag. The default is on automatic, um, so it it adjusts depending on. Um, the ping of the individual that you're playing, right? Um, it's but that's the default. Um, so your your input delay is going to be variable. If you leave it on that, it's going to be different depending on who you're playing. So you don't want that. Um, and also, some people have it on one. Um, you could do that. You can get used to playing it on one, and you can um, you can adjust to that. Uh, but uh, if you're more interested in having like an arcade experience, you want to have this uh, at zero. Um, unfortunately, this is not where your problems end. So you have zero frame uh, input delay on your 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 netcode basically, but there's more that adds to your input delay and latency than just the netcode itself. So the other main thing is the emulator. All right, so this was just the first setting. So this is done. All right, we're gonna load up a game. Okay, so we have Marvel vs. Capcom running. All right, so there's a second setting in here. All right, it's under video. Run ahead. Okay, so this is a new feature from Fight K2. Fight K1 did not have this. Um, basically, uh, run ahead is a feature that cuts down even further on input delay by one frame, two frames, uh, frames, excuse me, uh, respectively. Uh, by default, it's disabled. Um, this feature so far is amazing. Uh, I couldn't, <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't believe it when I first tried it. Two frame, man. It's a, uh, it's so dramatic the difference. Um, to be honest with you, I couldn't even do my combos. I was so used to doing it in Fight Kid 1 delay that two frames just felt foreign to me. Now, I want to say be careful with this because, um, <clears throat> according to some individuals, two frame is actually even more responsive than arcade. So, if you're used to playing offline in arcade, two frame might even fe feel foreign to you. It might feel too responsive, it might feel strange. Um, and, like, like it even tells you here, it's CPU intensive, so you need a pretty decent. Uh, processor to do this. Um, I would say the sweet spot for me is one frame. Um, two frame works out for me, but uh, 
for for some reason I don't notice too too big of a difference between one and two frames um, for the run ahead feature. Um, but one frame to me just feels like the sweet spot. It feels like it's 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 the best experience you're gonna get on PC without it feeling almost artificial. Two frame feels amazing, but it almost feels artificial and not genuine. You know, so you can experiment with the two and find out uh, which one feels better for you. Unfortunately, your problems still do not end here. So, um, what most people don't understand is that if you're running Windows 10, if you're playing any game in window mode, uh, Windows applies VSync or triple buffering to whatever program. Okay, so this forces an additional one frame of input delay. So the only way to skirt this is to disable VSync from the emulator and then run your game in full screen mode. You'll notice immediately when you're playing the game in full screen that it feels dramatically more responsive and there's less delay. So if you do all of the above, you set your delay to zero for the netcode. Then you come up here and you set your run ahead to one or two frames. Okay. And then you go ahead and run your game in full screen mode. You're going to have an amazing experience that it might be hard for you to adjust to if you're used to playing on Fight Kid 1. Because Fight Kid 1 is, I'm sorry, but it was it was bad. It was really bad. Um, not only because of the, just the delay, but because of the frame skipping. And Fight Kid 2 still has some frame skipping too. And it's related to running your application in window mode. If you go to full screen, that, that frame skipping just goes away. And it's just the way that uh, Windows 10 handles uh, graphics and window applications. So, although it's kind of a hassle, it's kind of annoying to run your games in full screen, that's the best experience you're going to have. Uh, if you're an arcade player, obviously, first thing you want to do is you want to set that to zero. And then you want to play with these two settings here, one and two frame. You can leave it disabled. But uh, I'm telling you, um, you're going to want to use this at least for one frame on Windows 10. Um, and I would also recommend full screen. So, um, yeah, give all the settings a try. See what you guys like best. Uh, I would experiment. Um, but yeah, all in all, besides the uh, input loss, um, Fight K2 is dramatically superior uh, to Fight K1. And I don't know if there, if the input loss is um, just a perceived input loss, because it's so responsive on Fight K2 that when playing MVC One, for example, um, it looks like you're about to be out of block stun, and so you you might throw out an attack and nothing comes out. Um, on Fight K1, it would the the attack would come out because of the delay. The the input you would you would send the input and then it would wait a couple of frames and then the game would see the input and then that's when you would see your attack. So if you've been playing on Fight Kid One for like ten years well it's, it hasn't been out for ten years. So if you're playing Fight Kid One for like five years and you're used to those timings, attacking out of block stun at certain times and stuff like that, it's gonna feel like your inputs are getting lost or eaten up on Fight Kid Two because it, your inputs are coming out instantly. So, and then there's stuff like proximity guard. You know, you got to take that into consideration. So, yeah, I do. I do understand what people are saying with the input loss, and it does feel like there is input loss at times. But I'm not 100% confident that it's always input loss. But uh, I, I'm sure there is a certain amount of it because they did make some changes to the netcode. But uh, all in all, it feels superior uh, to the original. If I kid one netcode, uh, able to play people with high ping a lot better. Um, so yeah, I, I would say if I kid two, all in all, it's, it's very good. It's it's just really good. But I uh, hope you guys uh, learn how to optimize your your input latency. And uh, I see you next time.